In this tutorial, we'll show you how to integrate a Modbus device in a KNX network using our Modbus RTU to KNX protocol translator. It's directly configurable from ETS2 and no additional software is required. So to perform this configuration, we are going to use Intesis KNX Modbus RTU gateway and ETS software. As an example, we'll use Modbus addresses of our Intesis DKRC MBS1 and we'll integrate the next registers into KNX. On off, mode, fan speed, vane position, set point temperature, room temperature, an error code. So let's start configuration. First of all, open ETS tool and create a new project or select an existing one from the projects list. Once the project is open, check if Canex product database is present in our catalog. Otherwise, download it from intesis.com and import it to ETS using import button. Now let's open topology window and select the line where you want to add the device. Then create a new KNX Modbuzzer 2 device, double clicking on KNX product database. Then the device will be added to our topology. And set the correct name, individual address and description if is needed. Let's begin with the configuration by selecting the device and then clicking on the parameters tab. In general configuration, select the number of Modbus resistor to integrate and set Modbus communication port settings. Baud rate, data type and interfering timeout. Also, we can set a minimum change of value to send analog values to a KNX network, configuring the desired value in that one parameter. Now let's move to the table tab and select tab for the first 10 rows. Here, create all signals we want to integrate and set object name, dpt and modbus parameter for each one. For the signals with read-write access, select correct read and write functions. Mode signal could be configured with HVAC control mode DPT, but in this case, the scriptures don't match with the ones in the DKRC MBS1. So we are going to configure as a Boolean state using EasyQuare operation. In this case, we should create a signal for each state with EasyQuare operation value correctly configured. For multi-state values, you can use any unsigned DPT. Or if you have a little number of states, you can use any Boolean DPT in combination with EasyQual operation. For float values formatted as unsigned values, you probably need to apply arithmetic operations. Select the correct one on the operation column. For read-only signal, select the correct read function and unselect write function. Once the signals configuration is done, let's create group addresses. To do so, open group addresses window and add the main group. Then add two middle groups, the first one for status signals, which will contain 
nine group addresses and the second one for common signals, which will contain seven group addresses. Now we are going to link group addresses with their corresponding communication group of the gateway device. Finally, let's download the configuration to the gateway using download button. Now let's check that all the setup we have done is working properly. To do so, we'll use a Modbus Slave Simulator and ETS tool. On ETS, open the Diagnostics window and on Group Monitor tab, start logging of group addresses. On Modbus Slave Simulator, we have configured all registers we want to read from DKRCMBS1, and it's connected through an USB RS485 converter to the gateway. Now, let's change values in the Modbus Slave Simulator, and we'll see on ETS how their corresponding group addresses are updated on KNX network. Finally, we are going to send on off command and a new set point temperature from KNX and we'll see how Modbus registers change and also how their status group addresses are updated in the KNX network. So that's it. I hope you like it and see you in the next tutorial.